Alright guys, I um, want to talk about the B-Bots issue and a few other things. Let's just call it x -Power Community, I'll make that the, the heading of this. If you're unaware, uh, there's a guy in the Philippines who does vlogging, um, but I do want to stress this in my personal opinion. Um, I do think he was involved in things he shouldn't have been, and, I, and he's been arrested for them. Um, I don't think he's going anywhere soon. I think he's going to spend probably 20 plus years in jail in the Philippines because they don't take it lightly. Um, what am I talking about? Well, when they arrested him, he was in a hotel room with two minors, um, camera equipment and some adult toys, let's put it that way. Full blown raid, police in there, guns pulled and at the same time, the camera uh, team were there as well because what you do get in the Philippines is it's quite common to have a, a audience in the sense that you will get a camera crew from a local network actually come along for the bust and it'll be on the news that night um, in his case it was which is one of the reasons you know some people say oh he's going to buy himself out you can't buy yourself out of that stuff not at that, <laughs> not that level um, also I don't think he's connected or wealthy enough to actually even instigate that. Now, I've seen some of the stuff going on related to some of the other expats. Um, I've seen Ned trying to drag uh, Jay and uh, Seth Style into this as well, which is I found completely bizarre in the sense that um, when all this stuff was sort of going on relating to B-Bots, firstly Seth has never met the guy. Um, they have been on the same live stream and for a live stream for those that aren't aware is basically you anybody can connect to it so for example if I'm in Spain says is in Manila Johnny Bravo's over somewhere else you can all have a live stream you, you don't have to be sat in the same room uh, I don't know if Ned doesn't understand this stuff I'm not sure I don't know the guy personally um, but the point is, they've had some live streams discussing the stuff that B-Bots was doing. And I wouldn't call that, oh, best friends or being involved in it, but this, the, the wording that Ned used was definitely very um, concerning about how he formed his opinion. It'd be interesting to see how he formed his opinions. Um, but let, let's be honest here, I doubt he'll ever, ever bring it up. Um, but... He, he did make some very bold statements relating to other people and as such uh, there's a bit of a, a friction going on with that um, now Bbots was arrested because this stuff has been ongoing he breaches many of the laws in the Philippines a lot of people have been talking about the age of consent in the Philippines being 12 years old um, but it's been superseded by other laws that's why people often get confused uh, being in the company of minor you're not allowed to be in places like a resort, a bar, beaches, anything that's classed as a tourist location for a start. Um, but then you've got, if a child's in your car that you're not related to, it can be human trafficking. If you're um, putting stuff on the internet, as Bbots was, then it comes under the cybercrime laws. Then you have the mail order bride laws because he was actually running a dating agency from what I, I heard and seen and the way he was promoting it, in my opinion, he was running an illegal dating operation. As such, take your pick. He has more laws broken than he has that he hasn't uh, broken. Um, and then obviously you've got the location of where he was arrested. Now my personal opinion is he's going to fall under the cybercrime laws, the child protection laws and the mail order bride laws. Well. Good luck with that, because I'm I'm thinking more than 20 years in jail, maybe life, because of the way how the Philippines is very strict on it. Um, the other thing is they won't see him as Filipino. He's a Philam, a Filipino American, so they'll see him as more as a foreigner than a a local guy, which means that more likely to come down harder on him as well, because um, he's a good example for the media and to show. The Filipino people they're doing something the government's doing something about these crimes um, now going back to the stuff Ned was doing 
Um, I'd have to say Ned's quick to judge other people, but what did Ned do about it? He obviously knew this was going on, and he didn't do anything. That says that says a lot about him directly. Um, there was expats that actually did get involved in this. There was expats that did uh, assist the uh, local authorities, as well as the authorities outside of the Philippines. Um, now, if you do, here's a bit of advice: if you do come across this sort of stuff, what you want to do is if you find certain videos. When you file a form and complain about this stuff, take the video and put the minute slots. So, for example, at 2 minutes 56 seconds, the, this girl looks around 14 years old. 3 minutes 26, he explicitly says that he is running a dating agency. 4 minutes 27, da da da. And then when you send that through, because that, that's when they'll look at something. Because they'll, ex they'll actually go, right, you know, because they get stuff all the time. The police get stuff and whatever. But if you've got specific slots, they will go through those videos because it's only going to take them a second. Because you're going, go to this little video link, go to 2 minutes 22, have a look at this. This is what he says. This is what I think the law is breaking. They all look at that. And that's when they start forming a case. Now, some people assume that you contact the police and it's done instantly. No. They, they, there's a good chance, even if you were actually proactively trying to get rid of somebody like this, you would never hear anything about it because it's all done internally. There's no reason for them to contact you. Once you've passed your information over, that's, that's your bit done. So don't assume that um, you're going to get a pat in the back or anything else. You're very likely to hear nothing. Um, but. In that case, he was arrested eventually, and I would say it's probably took them about a year to get enough evidence. Because uh, one of the problems you've got to do to get is actually get um, something solid, which in this case I believe is the evidence from the mother. As such, there is somebody that can actually instigate a raid, somebody that can um, take it to the whole next level because they actually have a victim. Because until a crime is reported, there is no victim. So there's a lot of stuff that people assume, oh, it'll just be this, the police ain't doing this, or whatever. Have a look at the legalities around it, and you, you'll understand it a bit better. So that's, that's I'll put that to one side. Um, I'd also say that, I mean, just, I mean, I know I'm having a bit of a dig at Ned for the stuff he's been up to, but there's a lot of stuff he has been up to in Don Maggetti that is not his same image that he puts online, let's put it that way. Um, and there's, there's multiple people that are aware of it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, he's not as clean cut and honest as he, were. he tries to uh, pass himself off as on the internet. But anyway, and that's my personal opinion. But I have no reason to disclose any anything else because, like I said, I don't know him. He's not my problem. Um, so, but anyway, but I was on a live stream yesterday with Jay. Um, we we're just chatting about various things, about politics and things, and it was funny that I find some of this very peculiarly very sad. When people actually log into a live stream just to put adult entertainment to have a channel shut uh, shut down, it's pathetic. It's really, really pathetic. And I can understand why um, some people get... I mean, the thing I will say about Jay and Barry, their tit for tat really isn't anywhere near as bad as some of the stuff that other people are trying to provoke them with. Um, which is the... So in my, I mean, in my my mindset, I quite simply, I can see that from Jay and Barry's side, they're just trying to do their own thing. Now, don't get me wrong, they they're not innocent in retaliating against things, but I would say from the other side, it does seem that they're very proactive in creating issues. Um, and I would hazard a guess it's probably just one or two people from the other side that are creating this stuff and then dragging other people into it for whatever reason. I mean, myself, I just say it's pathetic. It really is. Um, but at the same time, 
what I would advise any subscribers or whatever, just push that stuff aside. It just ain't worth the time. Um, it's counterproductive. There's nothing positive coming out of it. It's just people that really need to go and get a hobby or a dog to walk, do something else. Um, I mean, that's the thing, what I find peculiar with some people is that you look at Jay and Barry, you can see where they're living, what they're doing, whatever. Yet other people are getting all flustered because they're finding their real names. I think that says a lot because at the end of the day, Barry and Jay are who they are. Other people often have a false persona and they don't really want people looking into their real lives. But welcome to trolls. Um, so from that side, I would say if you do enjoy that stuff and like going to the channels, support their channels because if they do get shut down again, then it, they're going to have to set up again. And, it, and I'll be able, it's not their own fault. It's some very sad individuals creating this mess just for the sake of it. It's just sad. It is sad. Not sad like, oh, I'm depressed, sad. Sad in like, I feel sorry for them. That's <laughs> it. Um... What else has been going on recently? Yeah, there's not a lot else to be honest. But I just wanted to make that one of those things out there. And I do think that it is a, just one or two individuals. And I do think that some people need to realize that they're getting played on both sides. Um, because it's a bit like when you go to a... Like say we were with a football team or a rugby team or whatever. There's always that little twat in the corner that will start a fight with the other team or whatever. And do you know where he is when the fight starts? Right at the back. And bear that in mind. That's exactly what's going on here. It's the, it's the little instigator, the little weedy one that creates the issue, then buggers off to the back and leaves everybody else in, in the chaos. Um, so be aware of that. Thanks for watching.